Hi everyone, this is Dr. Santos. Today I'll be talking about properties of heterochromatin. So first to know the properties, you should be knowing what is heterochromatin. Okay. So heterochromatin is a part of chrom part of DNA, chromatin, which is clumped, which is inactive transcriptionally. So these are the properties of those heterochromatin, which is transcriptionally inactive or clumped. So first property you can see that these heterochromatin are condensed they are condensed into one because now second property is gregarious those condensed chromatin they try to clump together in blocks and they occur heterochromatin blocks and this heterochromatin blocks you will see more during the metaphase chromosome in metaphase chromosome you can see them there is banding pattern of heterochromatin and euchromatin so these blocks you see more on meta metaphase chromosome and during interphase chromatin you'll see less of less kind of less blocks of this heterochromatin blocks but they are gre gregarious in nature that means the chromatin the clumped chromatin from different regions they will try to clump together and form a block now third property is it is transcriptionally inactive and that is the very important that is a very important property of heterochromatin this is all heterochromatin even it is there is gene if it is heterochromatin the gene is is clump and it is inactive and this heterochromatin it is last to replicate during synthetic phase of the cell cycle this chromatin will last to replicate for example citrocentrosome has the chrome this heterochromatin centrosome will be last to replicate and then this chromatin does not take part in genetic recombination that happens during meiosis now this part are hypoacetylated so what does that mean the histone is histone tail is hypoacetylated hypoacetylated now the histones here they are hypo this is hypermethylated. Hypermethylation will cause them to become heterochromatin. So generally you will find in heterochromatin H3, the histone 3 and this lysine ninth number of histone 3 tail. Okay, this ninth number if you count from N terminal there will be ninth number of will be lysine. That lysine will be generally trimethylated. And in bar body, in sex chromosome bar body, the the inactivation of bar body is because of this lysine 27 trimethylation. So you will see the lysine methylation generally K9 and bar body K27. And this heterochromatin can have DNA, multiple DNA methylation in CPG islands. Means when wherever you see C that is followed by G or G followed by C, there will be phosphodiester, right? So this C cytosine will be methylated okay so this cytosine if it is methylated you will find more cytosine methylation in heterochromatin so th these are the properties of heterochromatin you can remember these all properties of heterochromatin to this mnemonics g4 gregarious in nature c4 condensed chromatin and the gc tram t4 transcriptionally it is inactive r4 it is late to replicate Next R is it does not take part in recombination, genetic recombination. A4, the histone he in this heterochromatic region, they are hypoacetylated, and then M4 histone is methylated, and the DNA in this region, heterochromatic region, they are also methylated. These are the properties of heterochromatic. I hope I made it clear. Thank you.